Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another free video. In this video, I'm going to briefly go through VAT returns on QuickBooks Online. Now, because accounting software auto fills VAT returns and you can file VAT returns from accounting software, the actual running of the VAT return is very straightforward. It's just clicking a few buttons. It's all automated. This is one of the great advantages to using accounting software is it makes VAT so easy. So this video is not going to be very long because everything's automated. The most important thing really to take away from this video is you need to ensure that all the accounting data all the accounting information for the VAT period is accurate and up to date. So that means that you ensure that all sales invoices are raised, that all sales are recorded. It means that all expenses have been entered on the software. And then most importantly, that all bank accounts are reconciled. So before you run the VAT return for the period, all bank accounts must be reconciled for that period. Otherwise, your VAT return might not be correct. Now, to access the VAT area of QuickBooks Online, we just go to taxes down the bottom here. Depending on what version of QuickBooks you have, the taxes tab might appear somewhere else on this list, but it's always going to be in the left-hand sidebar here. All previously submitted VAT returns show at the bottom of the page here and paid VAT returns also show at the bottom of the page here in this list. Any open returns show at the top. So this is the most recent VAT return that we can view and file using QuickBooks Online. Now, if this is the first VAT return that you're running or if you need to make any adjustments regarding VAT information held on QuickBooks, just click on Edit VAT at the top here and go to Edit Settings. You can change the VAT period on QuickBooks Online and also change how often VAT returns should be filed or calculated on the accounting software. We also have the cash accounting scheme or the standard scheme and lots of other information. If you're on the flat rate scheme, that can also be entered. And if you're going to be using Making Tax Digital, then you just turn this on at the bottom. It's already turned on, but you turn it on and fill in the relevant information to connect QuickBooks Online to the HMRC website, to your online gateway account. Once this is all complete, you simply just click on the most recent return, view the VAT return and click file. It's that easy. Obviously the VAT return you should go through, check the transactions that are showing on the return. But as mentioned already, it's all automated. So as long as everything has been recorded accurately on the software and everything has been reconciled, then the VAT return should be correct. If you need detailed support with VAT returns on QuickBooks Online, if you would like one-to-one -one training, then I offer that on my website. Just head over to freebookkeepingaccounting.com, click on services, and click on software training.